Hello traders and welcome to the weekly trade ideas with me Pierre at PAFX. As usual, today I will cover all the majors including gold and crude oil to help you out with your plans for the upcoming week. Before we get started, let me thank all of you for your likes and comments. Please keep them coming. So while I roll the interim disclaimer, you will have the time to do so. And if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. So welcome back guys, a quick look at the calendar. It's gonna be a very important week as you see lots of major events. I, choose, uh, I chose only the major events on this calendar, but as you see, we have a lots of news to keep an eye at starting on Monday already. Uh, Tuesday, we have cash rate and RBA statement from the Aldi. Wednesday, we have uh, BOC rate statement and overnight rate for the CAD. ISM non-manufacturing PMI from the US. Thursday, we're going to have um, retail sales and trade balance for all the and the OPEC uh, OPEC meetings, which going to be very important for uh, crude oil. And on Friday, we have the NFB and employment and unemployment uh, rate for the CAD. So as you see, a, a, expect a possible bumpy week ahead and keep an eye on those uh, news. We will start with uh, Dixie as usual, and we will uh, start uh, our top-down analysis from the daily time frame. Since you guys um, uh, watch these uh, videos each week, um, many of you do so. We, you know that we've been talking about uh, this area to be an important level of uh, resistance since it's been acting resistance here previously. And on Friday, we got this, uh, what could be a possible fake out to the upside and uh, follow it the close with a better engulfing candle and a possible shooting star formation uh, when the Dixie reached this area it lost momentum totally so we had like as you see four daily candles with very small bodies uh, three of them was uh, star formation and dojis so these usually uh, signaling uh, a possible reversal as we had previously here and on Friday we had this uh, little fake out to then see the price plunging back down and closing at the um, low of this neckline uh, on uh, the daily chart so if we go down to the four hour time frame we see that this very strong bearish engulfing candle now there is discussion about this candle that it could be profit taking and uh, portfolio rebalancing since it was the last day of the week and the month but in any case uh, it is very important to see this uh, possible fake out here and this strong push to the downside to be a possible start for a one more move to the downside be aware that this monthly pivot is from last month i didn't update my monthly pivots yet on any charts because i cannot see them until the market open uh, but as for now for the Dixie we broke this um, uh, trend line it is a minor trend line on the one hour time frame but it got broken now and uh, we should be looking for some correction to the upside if we uh, see a failure to make a new high on the dollar I'm expecting one more leg to the uh, lower toward the 98 area as a first possible market objective okay I will change my bias if I see this high uh, broken on the dollar so if let's say next week the dollar start pushing higher breaking above this previous high then i will change my bias but as for now and since we have this losing momentum here at this important level looking left and uh, after this push to the downside we may now look for one more uh, leg lower oil did drop uh, very very strongly uh, on friday almost four uh, percent if not more and that was um, uh, on news from uh, the russians that uh, they would not uh, uh, they did not um, accept to to keep having the same cut and i i'm not sure if that was um, real sources or not but that was the the headline so the russians don't want to be uh, prolonged the the, uh, the cut in production and that's why we've got this a uh, huge uh, drop uh, the price was almost telling us that as you see here on the daily time frame it kept 
uh, doing those uh, star formation but all in all it was above the 200 moving average and i told you since we are above it on the daily there is a possibility that we reach the top of the channel before a next move to the downside now on that headline the prices broke uh, this uh, range here it been in this range uh, for the whole week it broke very very strongly so you would be lucky to catch this move um, maybe on a stop order below uh, the lows uh, then you maybe uh, your order got triggered but as you see very strong push to the downside it also broke this um, short term trend line we have and uh, the possibilities that we have this impulse and this to be the correction is now really um, possible now to see a continuation to the downside but keep in mind after such a huge move next week especially early next week you may see uh, oil going sideways or making a little bit of a correction what's gonna be uh, important level for for this market uh, in my opinion is uh, the first level uh, this broken structure here after uh, so many retests it could not break it and now it is broken so keep an eye on this level if you see bearish evidence then there is a possibility for continuation but don't um, go for like blind uh, shorting because as you see here we had the same situation there was no bearish evidence it just kept going through this whole thing and it continued uh, higher so uh, be a bit careful uh, go down to one hour time frame if something like this happened then there is no signal for bearish evidence we want to see bearish evidence something like this the market losing momentum something like this double top small bodied candles bearish engulfing candle not something like this that breaks uh, back above so wait for that correction if it is slow and you start seeing uh, losing momentum and bearish uh, bearish evidence then you may look for short otherwise you need to wait for more confirmation because if it breaks higher here we may see a deeper correction toward these areas before any kind of continuation to the downside okay let's not forget it is a very big move and it may end up uh, being a sideways week next week and keep in mind that opec meeting we have near the end of the week on oil so sell rallies but wait for signal do not go short blindly gold if we go to the daily time frame on gold we see that uh, this previous support that i mentioned last week is holding for now still no break below it uh, if we go down to the one hour time frame we had this um, i am in gold here uh, i did publish this trade idea in our uh, trading room and um, the, the the scenario was a pretty simple uh, previous structure support we had uh, the first bounce to the upside here that broke above previous high we had a nice uh, trap here so sellers got trapped and then a new high uh, was made here above previous high so the idea was to um, make an attempt to a possible 2618 trade on this double bottom or a simple 618 retracement so we drew a uh, fibonacci retracement here from the bottom to the top as you see limit order just above the 618 and we've got the wait and wait and wait and wait to then see also the trade going against me with this uh, bearish candle here and then late friday we've got these nice push to the upside that broke previous high so i am still in the trade uh, we took some profit at previous high and um, targeting this uh, major structure at swing high now for the rest of the um, position so again uh, bullish uh, possibility here on gold uh, it is time now to look for a possible correction any correction to this broken area could be a good level to look for a continuation so if that is the case uh, and you want to go for a long here you want to uh, see this um, the bullish ev um, the bullish uh, evidence you wanted to see uh, that happening somewhere inside this skill zone you want to look for your um <clears throat> for your trigger stop loss give it some room below this previous low uh, you could still target this uh, previous high as a first level and the next uh, area should be this uh, 
previous structure this previous stroke a broken structure here or this previous high could be also a good level to take profit there is possibility for some trouble here so again let me repeat any correction back down here you want uh, the bullish evidence to happen inside this area if you get those bullish evidence and your trigger happen here you have the possibility for uh, the continuation here on uh, gold EURUSD also bounced nicely from support after uh, making also a uh, fake out to the downside so the support level is still holding uh, broke below a weekly S1 and bounced higher to then um, start correcting a little bit because it was uh, end of the day end of the week but in any case for now we have a short term break above this level it is not changing the whole trend the trend is still a bearish trend here as you see and this leg could continue to the downside but as as for now and if this support keep holding any retest that give us bullish evidence we may try an attempt to go long if this market to continue next week to move higher uh, without a bigger correction i think any uh, break back above this previous high so uh, you want to see something like this happening if that is the case look for a retest and continuation toward previous month uh, month uh, pivot point or this neckline here at least um, target this neckline at least yeah so you want to see something like this happening you look for a retest and continuation to the neckline when and if the price reached that neckline be aware of possible trouble and uh, that uh, bears my uh, may start defending uh, this area as well so as first next week i'm looking for possible continuation uh, if this also happened to be a uh, bull flag could be also a good scenario to follow that bull flag and wait for the breakout to happen to look for that next move to the upside i do like uh, the way it moved here uh, it's been a pretty boring week otherwise because it was just this range all the whole week so a little bit of momentum would be great now on this market a quick break to let you know guys that i will prolong my offer from the black friday to the cyber monday so until tuesday morning you still can get the 50 percent off on the six months subscription to my chat and trading room this is your best opportunity for this year so if you're thinking now it's the time for the action go and grab your seat sterling usd also almost the same scenario the uh, market here being sideways uh, for the whole week we had this range only for uh, the whole previous week and um, actually nothing new here the major uh, range is still this one we did not test uh, the low of that uh, major range um, this week so um, there was no chance to buy that low but if we look at the 200 moving average on the one hour acting as nice dynamic support for now last week uh, on friday we had this uh, new higher low now so we have uh, a first higher low here another higher low here after this dip here so we have a couple higher lows and there is a possibility for another attempt to the top but keep in mind this stop here is um, a pretty important level as you see here uh, there is a possibility for some rejection but short term uh, you could play uh, that possible continuation move so any retest toward this level and uh, if it holds as support giving you bullish evidence in this area then you could look for a continuation move another attempt would be if this happened to be a slow correction some kind of flag as i said on the euro as well this could also be a possible reason to try along from here based on um, higher high higher low and maybe a continuation on this market so this is what i'm looking for to change the bullish bias uh, <laughs> the bullish bias you need to see a break below this structure if that is the case then we may see a another move to the downside toward the bottom here so this is also a possible range that you may see happening next week on the lower time frames on uh, the sterling usd jappy uh, i'm ex i was expecting this market to continue pushing higher toward the 
180 or 110 before a reversal i'm still expecting that but the last two daily candles um, showing possible weakness for the bulls they could not uh, push higher than this as you see pretty small candles um, hanging man doji and uh, shooting star doji here as well uh, for our time frame we started uh, getting divergence already when uh, this high was made so we got um, a bearish divergence to then followed by a nice bearish engulfing candle here but all in all the previous month r1 is an important level so this area here is a pretty important level for the user to make that deeper correction it need to break below that and if that is the case then we're gonna see this market probably testing this area next week as a first market objective so um, keep an eye on that if we go down to the lower time frame we see it clearly that uh, we have a break of this uh, nice trend line here and um, possible retest so in any case wait for this break to happen if you want to go short against this or in a counter trend trade to then look for that deeper correction before a possible bounce higher this market is um, still a strong uh, bullish uh, market right now during this whole move uh, it is considered bullish uh, bullish market and uh, you should be pretty careful going against the trend so that's why you need to um, you need to have those um, strong bearish evidence but again uh, the reason I'm saying for uh, that is this important area that we reach it. That's why I'm uh, also willing to try a short because it is a pretty nice area here of uh, both uh, support, support and resistance. Okay, so that is the game plan for UJ. New Zealand USD, pretty boring. A couple of weeks and a sideways moves here. Uh, and last week it was even narrower range so nothing new here we're still inside this narrow range here as you see and nothing uh, to do here more than sell high buy low we've been doing so in my trading room because uh, that that was all everything um, every morning i do my morning briefing i've been telling the guys buy low here and sell high up here that's it because this is the market condition we have right now and you may hear people saying just trade trending market etc etc you could do so if that fits you but I mean such an opportunity is uh, like a clear range here why not if I am sitting on uh, having time to sit in front of, of screens I would uh, happily trade a, a signal like this after a couple of rejection a bullish engulfing candle to go to go along with a stop loss below this targeting previous high so that's it and that's why i still consider keep doing this until i have a break out of this range and when that happens then i will follow that move if if it happens to the downside i will follow it to the downside so as for now i will say the same again if you get opportunities at the edge of the range buy low and sell high until that breakout happen now the entry reason that is up to you you need to have your triggers but uh, the levels are clear on this chart usd chief let's go to the daily time frame i mentioned this level as a possible um, trouble area last week looking left we had this uh, when the market did test this area we got this very strong push to the downside here also this here was a nice push lower and last week we tested that area so since we tested that once again now and we've got rejection we need to keep an eye on that level as a possible resistance level there is no break above it and uh, it's still um, not totally uh, reversed yet so uh, this could be just profit taking for uh, for the week and uh, you may see another bounce lower to then see another uh, continuation move but if uh, this really to reverse i want to see a break of the trend line and a break above previous month r1 if that is the case and this neckline got broken then i'm looking for one more push to the downside toward previous month uh, monthly pivot point or this trend line down here so that is what i'm looking for on this market for uh, a, a bias change 
we want to see a daily uh, close above this previous high if that is the case and we got a strong daily close above it then we could look for the continuation move toward this area but until that is not the case we should be looking to uh, take a short term short on this market usd cat um, nice strong push above the 200 moving average uh, to then start going sideways last week and uh, as you see rejection couple of times another rejection another uh, evening star formation uh, lots of stars here uh, bulls are losing momentum it was clear last week five days no new high been made instead we've got lower highs all the way so that is the daily time frame on this one clear um, momentum um, lost to then uh, on the four hour time frame we have this push correction another push failed to break lower another correction and friday we had this push lower the dollar was very weak on friday but since oil was so weak uh, cad did not uh, do much better against the us so oil uh, drop did uh, not help uh, the cad to uh, do the stronger move i think if oil did not uh, drop uh, if oil wasn't to drop so much i think we would see this happening already on friday and move down here so what i'm looking for here since i i am seeing this failure to make a new high another failure to make a new high and another lower high i'm pretty interested to see if we're gonna see uh, we're gonna get that deeper correction next week and a continuation move toward yearly pivot point so keep an eye on this level if broken look for a correction uh, retest and continuation to toward yearly pivot point aussie usd still um still uh, weak uh, looking on the daily time frame uh, we see that um it is still um a bearish market so after this push here a correction and continuation there was an attempt to break lower but then the uh, friday went back and closed at the low of the previous candle if we look at the weekly time frame we have a clear uh, close below previous lows uh, previous both uh, weeks here so uh, on the weekly time frame is actually signaling a possible continuation toward this level so uh, keep an eye on this for a possible trend continuation trade if uh, you see another break lower here look for a retest of this trend line and continuation to the downside the only way to change this bias we want to see a break of the trend line and above previous high so we need to see a strong one like this a higher low to happen in somewhere in this area to then start looking for that continuation so um, if we draw a uh, with a proper arrows so to change that bias you want to see this happening otherwise it is a break below retest and continuation toward this area down here keep in mind that aussie cash rate on tuesday this could be the catalyst for uh, one of these moves so uh, be aware of that uh, because uh, this uh, should be the catalyst at least a short term move uh, usually you get a, sh a, a um, short term spike to then see a, a different direction happening during uh, the those releases so uh, yeah guys that was the last market for today thanks a lot and um, see you next week and again keep in mind that each and every week i will keep doing those but do not forget to give me those likes see you bye bye